Hello and welcome to one of my reviews. Today will be a quick installation of React OS, the uh, free and open source Windows operating system clone. The kernel is based upon free and open source code. It is its goal is to mimic the Windows operating system as close as possible, and I'll show you how to install it. Later on, I will show you, probably in a second video, my review and first thoughts. I reviewed um, React OS 0.3.13 a few months ago, and since the newest version 0.1.14 has been released, I thought I should probably check it out. So here's the first boot up screen. It is similar to the Windows NT installations and Windows 98, you know, Windows 9. X installations. So you go and you click, you go and use the up down arrow keys to select your language, English, United States. And then you go and hit enter to continue. You can hit enter to continue. And then here's the settings. They are they're all correct. Oh now hit enter to accept. If they're incorrect, then you highlight them, hit enter to change to your preface or like hit enter. Then I'll go and hit C to create a new partition. And enter on that one, then I'm going to hit enter to install on that partition. They only have FAT file system implicated. They will later have NTFS, but for now, only FAT. So let's do a quick format. Hit enter to format. Okay. After you hit enter to format, after that continues, you will be brought to you a screen where it will ask you where, what directory you want to install it to. Normally you would select React OS as the directory name, but I will select Windows because I will be installing Windows binary on this and I would like it to be as compatible as possible. Because sometimes Windows programs choose the default path which would be Windows. And although you can change the default path, some of them the automatic path would be Windows and it would be more difficult to install if the path is not Windows because it would be not what it's expecting. So let's hit enter to continue. It's now copying the setup files. Once that has happened, you will, it will ask you whether or not you want to install a bootloader. You will hit enter, then hit enter to reboot. React OS will reboot. It will ask to remove any key. It will ask to press any key if the C or floppy disk is still installed. We will go and select React OS. It's done loading up. Here's the loading screen. And then it's installing devices. Here's the setup wizard. It shows you where it got the source for the open source program. And please type your name, Ryan, and your organizational name, which is none. If you have an organization or if your name is not Ryan, um, you can put your organization name and your name. If you're, not, if you're not called Ryan. And I'm going to go and change the computer name. It usually picks a random computer name. Let's do React OS VM because it's running in a virtual machine. And then I'm not going to put a password, but if you have a in system administrator that you're installing this or you want to be secure, you should put a password. And then we're going to hit next. We're gonna, that all checks out. It is Saturday, February 18th, 2012. It is 4 3. It is 4 3 and 28 seconds p.m. The time zone is U.S. and Canada and Tijuana, not Tijuana, yeah, whatever, Pacific time. It's now registering the components. After that, it will restart. You can either wait for it to restart or you can hit finish to finish. Now we're not going to select boot from CD and then when the boot screen comes up, we're going to select boot to React OS. It's going to load up. Here's our loading screen again. And then here's our lovely wallpaper. It's going to ask us, do you want to install driver? And then we're going to hit install driver automatically. Slice and failed. Oh, this is still an alpha. You cannot find the driver for a specific item. And um, it has the multi desktop, as in Linux. Um, and that's the installation and setup of React OS. Um, 
later on I will be doing a um, review of ReactOS, but for the time being, that has been my installation tutorial. See you later.